Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the topic of meningeal covering of the central nervous system. First, there are three, three membranous coverings. Three membranous covering. First is pia matter. Second is arachnoid matter. Third, dura matter. Pia, arachnoid and dura. There is pad. You have a mnemonic pad. Pia means soft. It is a soft and vascular and thin layer which is closely attached with the central nervous system. Second is arachnoid. Arachnoid is spider-like, trabeculite. Arachnoid means spider-like. Okay? Spider-like trabeculite which is present in the central nervous system. For the drainage of CSF, cerebrospinal fluid. Lastly, it is dura. Dura means tough and strong. Tough and strong. This covering is very tough and strong, which protects the central nervous system. Now, I am going to draw the coverings, okay? Now, I am going to draw the CNS in the frontal view. For example, this is the frontal view of your brain, okay? This is our pia matter, which is closely attached, which is thin and very, very vascular layer, which is closely attached with the central nervous system. Okay? Second is arachnoid matter, which is spider-like trabeculi, which is present in the central nervous system for the drainage of CSF. This is just for your understanding. This is spider-like trabeculite. Thirdly, it is dura matter, which is the tough layer which is closely attached with the periosteum. That is on bone tissue, okay? This is our dura matter. This is arachnoid. And thirdly, it is pia. Now, I am going to tell you the spaces in between the three membranous coverings. If any, if the spaces in between the dura matter and the arachnoid matter, then it is subdural space. Under the dura, dura, it is the dura matter. Under the dura, the space is subdural space. Okay, subdural space. If the space is outside the dura matter, for example, it is our bone tissue, periosteum, okay? Then, if the space is between the periosteum and the dura matter, then it is called extradural or epidural. Extradural or epidural space. Likewise, if the space is between the arachnoid matter and the pia matter, then it is subarachnoid space, subarachnoid, under the arachnoid matter. Likewise, the hemorrhage occurs in the space or if the hemorrhage is occurs in between the extra, in between the bone tissue, that is of periosteum and the dura matter, then it is epidural or extradural hemorrhage. Likewise, if the hemorrhage that occurs in the subdural space means that is subdural hemorrhage. Again, if a hemorrhage occurs in the subarachnoid space means that is subarachnoid hemorrhage. If the hemorrhage occurs inside the, inside the brain, then it is intracranial, intracranial, inside the brain, intracranial hemorrhage. Okay, then now I am going to tell you the difference between the extradural and epidural hemorrhage. Now I am going to tell you the what are the hemorrhages and what is the causes, what is the artery involved in the hemorrhage. First, hemorrhage. Then cause. Then the artery involves. First, epidural or extradural. 
it is because of any blunt trauma epidural or extradural is usually because of any blunt trauma the artery involves usually it is meningeal artery meningeal arteries epidural hemorrhage it is because of blunt trauma artery involves is meningeal arteries second subdural subdural hemorrhage it is because of decelerated injury decelerated injury means when any body is moving fastly and suddenly hits on the uh, any surface and uh, the bridging vein rupture then it is called decelerated injury it is because of rupture of bridging vein thirdly subarachnoid subarachnoid it is because of berry aneurysm berry aneurysm is usually in the babies okay what is mean by aneurysm it is abnormal bulging of the artery due to the bulging the artery will ruptures ruptures okay usually in the circle of villus circle of villus the aneurysm which is present in the circle of villus that is the berry aneurysm last intracranial intracranial is usually because of hypertension due to hyper hypertension there will be a micro aneurysm rupture of cerebral artery again hemorrhage is epidural subdural subarachnoid or intracranial the cause will be if it is epidural the cause will be blunt trauma the artery involved is meningeal artery okay epidural this because of any blunt trauma in the temporal region artery involved is meningeal artery subdural it is because of decelerated injury the artery involves the artery involves is bridging veins okay sub arachnoid it is because of aneurysm that is present in the circle of villus that is called berry aneurysm intracranial it is because of micro aneurysm rupture the cause will be hypertension artery involved is cerebral arteries what is the difference between the epidural and the extradural how we can find in the ct it is so important in radiology we we must show, we must know the difference okay epidural and the epidural and subdural for example this is our bone tissue it is the dura mater which is closely attached with the bone tissue okay if the for example this is the meningeal artery rupture so there is a bleeding the bleeding can't exit the suture which is which is in the bones because the dura mater is closely attached dura mater is closely attached with the bone tissue so the bleeding is look like this in ct scan likewise in subdural for example this is the bone tissue this is the uh, dura mater which is closely attached with the bone tissue and this is the arachnoid mater okay if the bleeding occurs in this region then bleeding looks like this half moon shape crescent shape bleeding is present in crescent crescent means half moon crescent shape bleeding is present in um, subdural hemorrhage okay we should know this and one more clinical important is lucid interval what is mean by lucid interval lucid interval means 
a, pa a patient is having any bl blunt trauma after some time he become unconscious after that he become conscious again he become unconscious this time period this time period is called lucid interval it is so important because we have to know that it is it is usually occurs in the epidural hemorrhage okay this are the important points related with the meningeal coverings and the spaces and the hemorrhage which is present in the in the spaces thank you friends that's all today